To discuss how you could get into the bond trade, we have Pete Baden. He's FN Investments Senior Portfolio Manager and co-founder of the U.S. Benchmark Series as part of this week's ETF report brought to you by Invesco QQQ. And Pete, we've seen these significant rise in yields over the past few weeks. How should investors be digesting these moves to the upside? And is now the time to buy into the bond market? So we had a Fed who came in and they basically said, hey, we've got this under control. Inflation's, you know, well under control. We've got jobs that look like they're getting a little bit worse. We're going to change our focus from inflation to jobs. And that was all great. And we all believe the message. And they cut interest rates by 50 basis points on the overnight market rate. And we went, okay, this is great. Everything's going to be fantastic. The Fed's on the job. And we're looking at a slower economy. And then all of a sudden, we got this jobs report from September. And it was strong, really strong. And we had a couple other jobs reports. And we had retail sales come through. And all of a sudden, we went, oh, wait a minute. Maybe we've got something that isn't necessarily exactly what the Fed was planning on. And so we had this move where people went, the Fed's not going to be able to cut as aggressively as they think or we think they're going to do. And so all of a sudden, everybody started pulling off their bets that rates were going to go down that we were going to start seeing lower interest rates very soon. And we started extending when that might happen, AKA echoes of higher for longer. And so we're seeing that happening. We still think there's gonna be some rate cuts. And so this is still a great time to get into the bonds. We actually look at this as a second opportunity to get some of these great yields that are out there and be able to lock them in and have them in your portfolios and really generate that income that will support you going for years forward. Now, there are a variety of fixed income strategies from investment grade bonds to high yield bonds. Can you break down the main categories there and the pros and cons of each for investors? Absolutely. U.S. Treasury bonds are considered safe. They are great investments for times of recession, great in times of war, things like that. Then you kind of go from there into corporate bonds. And we kind of divide corporate bonds into investment grade, which are ratings that are put out by the major rating organizations, S&P, Moody's, Fitch. And those usually go from triple A all the way down to triple B, triple B minus BA3. And those are considered investment grade. In other words, those are companies that are highly likely to be able to pay off their debts when they come due, make all their interest payments on time, and not really have much of a chance of a default the closer you are to AAA, the better it is. You go below triple B minus, then all of a sudden you're getting into what's called not investment grade or high yield. And that goes into double B plus and then double B and all the way down to triple C and then ultimately into default. And all of those are, are great bonds too, but they're not really a core bond portfolio. They're just great positions to have if the economy is doing well, interest rates are coming down, and that's a positive time for high yield bonds. You don't necessarily want to be in high yield bonds if you think the economy is not going to do well, because those companies are usually the first ones to really show the pressure of a, a declining economy. Now, so we have these various strategies, these various categories. Do you have specific ETFs that you're most bullish on? Yeah, I am very bullish on the uh, staying on the run, staying liquid. I think this is a very time, a, a very dynamic time in the market. And so you've got an election coming, you've got a lot of questions for the Fed at their next meeting. And we're trying to liquid, stay in the on the run US treasuries, and then also stay with the, uh, stay with the credit. So we wanna be an investment grade, and we don't mind going out to 10 years. We don't mind going out to two years. Uh, those are great places to be, especially with the rates at four and a quarter and even four, over 4% 4 on the two year. And if you look at credit, you're actually adding another 80 basis points out long and another 30 or 40 basis points, even 50 basis points when you look at the two year. So these are great places if you wanna pick up some yield, doesn't look like we're going into a recession, that should be good for corporate bonds and you pick up that extra yield. So we think a balanced portfolio, you're gonna be longer, you're gonna be higher for longer. So it's still great to be in that short space with something like a uh, three month US Treasury or T-bill is the uh, investment that we have. And then be able to ladder that out and add in some 
duration, add in some maturities that would work better and be able to lock those yields in. So you could look at either a U10, which is the 10-year U.S. Treasury for ours, or even Z10, which has got the great corporate credit. And that just basically stays right over that 10-year. Both of those focus on the liquid parts of the market. All right, some great advice there. Pete Baden, FM Investment Senior Portfolio Manager and co-founder of the U.S. Benchmark Series. Appreciate your time. Sally.